VM Manager can create and manage virtual machines. There are two ways you can do it in VM Manager. The first one is by using a recommended configuration of ready-to-use resources and parameters that you can edit. The second one is by using a special template of the virtual machine disk. Let's dive in both of them. The recommended configurations allow you to create a virtual machine by using a pre-made set of resources and settings. Only the administrator can create a new recommended configuration. To create a new virtual machine, first go to Virtual Machines, create a VM, Recommended Configurations. Second, select a cluster where the virtual machine will be created. Third, Select an operating system for installation on your new virtual machine. Step 4. Select a set of resources from the list or use custom configuration to specify the resources manually. Virtual CPU, number of processors in units, RAM in megabytes, storage in megabytes. Select a script to be started after the operating system will be installed. Scripts prepare your virtual machines for operation. For example, you can use them to install any software or set up configuration files. Select a pool from which the IP addresses will be allocated to the virtual machine. Specify the number of VMs. Use Edit or Generate buttons to edit virtual machine names or generate new names automatically. Select a virtual machine owner. Specify the virtual machine password. Click on Generate for an automatically generated password. Click on Add. You are ready to go now. User or custom templates help you create a new virtual machine from a pre-made disk template. You can create new templates from any active virtual machine you already have. Create a new virtual machine. Go to Virtual Machines, create a VM, then User Images, and select a template there. If you'd like to edit the configuration, please specify vCPU, number of processors in units, RAM in megabytes, and storage in megabytes. Enter the number of VMs. Click on Edit or Generate to edit virtual machine names or generate new names automatically. Select a pool of IP addresses that will be allocated to the virtual machine. Select an owner of the virtual machine. Set a password for access to the VM. Click on Generate for an automatically generated password. Then click on Add and you're done.